Environmental justice advocate, what I focus on are harms that are disproportionately borne by communities of color and low income, and this is one of them. And that's, that's part of why I'm here today, is because the way in which the swine industry concentrated and the places where it concentrated meant that is it exposing to all of those harms that I just documented disproportionately uh, African Americans, Latinx, North Carolinians, Native Americans. Um, and the other thing I wanted to flag on this slide is this concept of cumulative impacts. Because too often, I think our environmental agency looks at a particular application for a particular permit and just thinks about that one facility without contemplating the contribution of similar facilities in that community to the overall impact and burden that the residents are feeling. Um, and so what I've got here are, are two slides, and I don't know how well you can see the, the, the dots, um, but the reason that I wanted to, to emphasize this is to show you how some of the cumulative impacts are completely ignored by our Department of Environmental Quality. This top slide is straight from the DQ's website, uh, a list of permitted facilities. Um, and you can see these, these yellowish dots on this top slide. Those are all the, the permitted swine operations. Um, and then the, the blue ones are some uh, cattle operations, and they're just a handful of magenta or wet poultry facilities. This bottom slide shows the full measure just of the impacts of industrial animal agriculture. And the big thing that's missing from the top are all these little purple dots on this bottom. Those are what are called dry litter poultry operations. They're deemed permitted. The agency doesn't require any uh, documentation of their location or their waste management practices be submitted to the state. They really only ever go out to those facilities if uh, you know, a riverkeeper or some community member submits a complaint. And even then, there's often little record of what they do um, because unless they make a determination of violation, it's basically this huge black box. And this is the, the, the more accurate reality of the, the cumulative impacts um, of industrial animal agriculture. And I just wanted to make sure that, that I flag that because the poultry industry, unlike the swine industry, which has, has largely been stalled in terms of its expansion due to some, uh, some legislation uh, in the late 90s and early 2000s, um, the poultry industry is growing rapidly. And it's growing most rapidly, at least in the, the period of time between 2011 and 2018, in y'all's neck of the woods. Uh, in fact, the, the two counties where we saw the greatest increase uh, poultry operations over that time were Duplin and Sampson, uh, followed only by Robinson County. Um, so, cumulative and disparate impacts. I'm not going to walk through 